Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Guys, in today's video, we are going to solve Cognizant Gamified Aptitude questions. And in this video, I have taken a particular set of questions which are from Switch Challenge because this is one of the important set of questions. And if you have not practiced this and if you directly see these questions in your assessment for the first time, chances are there that you might not be able to figure out what you need to do and how you have to solve it. Basically, the questions are of easy level only. But the thing is that if you have practiced them beforehand, it will be good for you in the assessment time. So guys, make sure to watch the video to complete end. And after watching first one or two questions, try that without watching the solutions, try to solve the questions on your own and then move forward with the solutions. That would be my recommendation for all of you. And guys, before we start the video, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel as I regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on daily basis on my channel. So guys, let's get started with first question. And guys, by the end of this video, there is one DIY question for all of you. Please, if you are watching this video, make sure to write down the answer of the DIY question in the comment section. So let's see the first question for today. So guys, let's understand how we can solve deductive reasoning switch challenge based questions. Okay. So see, for, I will be using this image to make you understand how this concept works. So basically, in these types of questions, you will be having three things. Okay. You will be have an, having an input one output and then you will be having different multiple codes that are given to you. Okay, now you have to tell this output if gone through a particular code, what will be the output you will get? Okay, if this input gone through a particular code, what will be the output you will get? Now, how we will solve it? Let's see this question only. So see, let's mark these images as 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, to understand it better. Now, in our answer figure, which image is first? 3, then which is there? 2, then 4th. And then one. So let's see if we have this code or not. Three, two, four, one. Yes, we have. So our input is following this code, and then it is covered, converting it to output. So in this way, we have to solve these types of questions. Now let's see different types of questions that can be formed on this concept. Let's look at this question again. In order to solve it, what I will do is first of all I will mark these numbers. Okay, uh, mark. I will give them markings to the figures. Okay. Now we have input, we have codes, and when we have output. Okay, let's see how we can solve it. So first of all, what we will do is we will give the numbering to the output one. Okay, so C plus is at number one position, circle was at number two, star was at four, and then this is at three. So how you will solve it? Three, four, two, one. So this is the correct code for this. Okay, so the answer for this is going to be three, four, two, one. Now guys, I will give you a quick trick. Okay, because you know these types of questions, you need to attempt a lot of questions in short time. So how you will do it? So see, first of all, whenever you get the question, you can't do any numbering and all. Okay, while I'm explaining, I'm doing this numbering and all for so that you understand better. What you have to do, you have to understand what is at the first place. See, first place, uh, you have plus. Okay, in the answer figure, what is uh, where is first? Okay, so first is at the last place. Check your options. How many in how many options? One is coming at the end. So in only one option, one is coming at the end. So yes, this is only going to be the correct answer. In this way, you can solve these questions very quickly and without wasting any time. Because usually elimination method will definitely work in these kinds of questions. Okay. Like if you have, uh, if you are solving this question, try to figure it out this way. And if the question is complex, then you can take more time. But with this way, uh, it will be solved very quickly. Let's move on to the next question. Let's see this question that we have. So in this question, we have again inputs, okay, input images, then we have different codes given to us and then we have outputs. Let's see how we will solve it. So for simplicity, I will mark the images as 1, 2, 3 and 4 so that I can make you understand in a better way. Now let's see this triangle is at which position. So it is again at here only. Second image was circle. It is also here. Third image is here. So I will mark it 3 here and fourth image is here. Let's see the code that we have 1, 2, 4, 3. So this will be the correct answer in this case, okay, because our input is going through this code to get the output which is given to us. Okay. So I hope you are understanding how we are finding the answers. So the answer for this will be 1, 2, 4, 3. Okay. Moving on to the next question. Let's look at this question. So we have again input figures and then we have output figures and the, we have different codes. We have to tell which is the correct code that will convert the input to the output. Okay. So first of all, I'll tell you trick how you can do it quickly. Okay. Kind of short trick without wasting more time. See, first understand what is coming on the first portion okay the first portion that the thing that is coming is this fourth fourth figure so you can see uh, in your answer figure the answer will start with four okay so check your options now so in your option you can see you have only one option as your answer which is starting with four so this is only going to be the correct answer in this way you have to quickly check it okay and the other thing is you know you might have other option also like for example if you have the codes like this okay four one two three or something like 
फोर वन टू फोर एंड फोर वन टू थ्री ओके लाइक ऑल द ऑप्शन आर स्टार्टिंग विथ फोर ओनली देन यू हैव वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू चेक योर कोड्स दैट इन योर कोड्स लाइक विच डिजिट इज different okay which can easily help you to identify it so in that case you have to use that but in our case all the first digits were different so we have used that only okay from the output hope you have understood it now now let's verify our answer so i will give the markings to the remaining also and we will see where they are going so star is 2 circle is 1 and then plus is 3 so our final code is 4123 as we have already found out with the short trick moving on to the next question let's see this types of question so guys in this types of question you have one more level up okay let's see first of all what we will do we will simply do the markings okay now in the first level the already code is given to us that is this figures will go through this code and we will get one output okay and based on that output that we get again it has to go via some more code and then we will get this final output so how you will solve this question is so if we will pass this input through this code okay that is 2143 so what we will get the output as 2 that is triangle 1 is plus uh 4 is circle and then 3 which is start so this is the output we have got at this point now we have to check okay again we have to give the markings here 1 2 3 4 okay and now we have to check how we, our output is getting formed so let's see circle is 3 triangle uh, plus is 2 triangle is 1 and then star is 4 so this is our output that we are getting so let's see if we have this code 3 2 4 1 yes 3 2 4 1 is there so this one is the correct answer for this one okay 3 2 Four one. I hope you understood this type of question. Here at one level, the code was already given to us. So based on that, we have to reduce the figure, and then based on the figure reduced, we have to re uh, find out what is the exact code that is getting followed. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Let's look at this code. So in this one, what we have is we have input figures, and then we have a code that is given to us based on which we have to generate a figure, and then based on that figure, again we have to find out what will be the correct code that is getting followed. So first step is let's give them the marking quickly one two three four and then using this code what i will do is i will make my figure okay so see 4 2 3 1 so 4 is what plus 2 is triangle 3 is circle and then 1 is star now this is our new pattern based on this we have to see how our co which code is getting followed to give the particular output let me give the new markings to this 1 2 3 4 and then what i will do i will check okay so one is it in its own place two is also here then four is there and then three is there so let's see if we have this code 1 2 4 3 yes first one is the correct answer okay so in this way 1 2 4 3 will be the correct answer for this one hope you have understood these types of question in these types of question basically a figure image input image will be given to you and one code will be given to you that you have to exactly follow based on that you have to reduce the image and then based on the reduced image you have to figure out what will be the code that will followed to give the output given okay so the correct answer in this case will be 1 2 4 3 to so guys so far we have solved a lot of question now i have one diy question for you diy as in do it yourself i will not be telling you the answer of this question you need to comment down the answer of this question so you have a given input figures and then you have different codes you have to tell based on these codes which is the correct code that the input should be passed through so that we will get the output figures okay so make sure to attempt this question and write down your answers in the comment box So that's all for today guys I hope you found the video helpful if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section make sure to join me on telegram and instagram as well you can ask your queries in the instagram dm as well and if you need any content you can request it on your on our telegram channel make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates i regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel so that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video